Hello guys, welcome to Mastech. I'm Emmanuel and today we'll be talking about how to hack Android. I know I've not been posting a lot of video content on my YouTube channel in Mastech due to some financial stuff because my YouTube channel deals with unboxing of smartphones and smart gadgets. But today we're going to leave that one aside and post two or three content on my YouTube video. This content is educational purposes and please, if you are caught hacking in any country illegally without any person permission, You'll be sentenced to life imprisonment or sentenced to death and i don't have the lawyer to defend you so say yes to cyber security and say no to cyber crime and today we want to talk about hacking into an android phone using a parent os if you know this video you are watching right now is helpful subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the doorbell notification and drop your comment below to let me know drop a thumbs up by clicking on that thumbs up and to let me know if the video you really like the video and please Please, hacking is illegal. Educational purposes only, only for educational purposes. Okay, guys, I have my Parrot OS running. Like I said, Parrot is one of the Linux distribution family. So it's one of the Linux distribution family. And why I use Parrot, the reason why I use Parrot, because Parrot is very smooth in running. So if you are using a computer, a old PC that came with old computer hardware. Parrot is a Linux OS that is meant for your PC to you to be used up because some other Linux operating system uh, is heavy when it comes to old PC. So you don't need to bother of last uh, last year PC or this year PC or other update or like crazy crazy PC because my own computer system is an old computer system and it came with different different many penetration pen testing tools you can use website pen density tools and all that is but today we'll just dive into how to hack into an android uh, os using ms venom so it's ms venom so let me just expand this thing for you guys so i'll just do some expand okay and write down ms venom for you guys okay all right that's ms venom okay just a minute okay is it on okay you can see the list of it so let me explain what this MS Venom meant from MS Venom you use it to create a small load package on it you create a small payload package on it so for you to hack into something you got to use something to communicate with don't listen to all this uh, what TV shows you how to hack you are doing pom, 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 pom. that's not how hacking is you have got to use something to communicate with the server so this ms venom i'm using this small playload package to communicate with the server so the p stands for like this window sorry the windows is if i want to hack into a window but a windows i'll have to use windows but i'll change this windows to android so the p stands for which is the play i just highlighted just now uh is for playload and why the l host is for the IP address so and also the playload you can see the playload.xe I'll just change this playload to a max and the XE sorry I say XE the XE is the application finding for Windows so I'll change it to APK for Android application finding uh, this is for Android so let me just clear this whole thing so that I will not confuse you guys so I'll just type clear on my terminal type clear on my terminal so just write to don't rick for okay i have to clear this thing out um clear so you you can see like yeah you can see ms venom minus p android remember i told that change change that windows into android so android slash metapreter slash reverse underscore tcp my los which is my ip address now let's talk about that this los so for you um to check your ip address so the IP address can be um, the internet ho uh, the internet hosting you. Yeah, the, if you are using a Wi-Fi, uh, you can you write down your Wi-Fi IP address. So I change this exe to apk5. But let me explain deep down on the IP address aspect. So some people, I was surprised some people don't know how to check the IP address. Don't even know like your network providing company have their own IP address, data, the data I use. So this is how you check your IP address. I just wrote IF config by opening another term terminal and this is my Wi-Fi 
IP address, my home Wi-Fi IP address. So since I'm on a Wi-Fi network, I'm using a Wi-Fi network, so my own Wi-Fi IP address here on the Wi-Fi network, my own Wi-Fi IP address is the one that is hosting the small package for the victim to download. So like I said, please, before you try anything, please take permission. This is for educational purposes only, not for illegal purposes. So take permission. So like I said, this is... um the Wi-Fi and um, my Wi-Fi IP address so which I wrote down my Wi-Fi IP address if you are using a mobile data a, a mobile data to do this to connect your internet you can write it down so I just click right now to create the playload package this will take about a few minutes you just give it a time just take about a few minutes just give it a time for the playload to be created just give it a time that's what I like. So it's taking about a few minutes to give you the time. So like I said, always take a uh, permission before you try this thing. So it's it is done. It's done. Look, it's done. I've created a small application package on this. Now to move the package into a directory file, another directory file. So I will have to type sudo mv. Sorry, mv. Sorry, mv attack. Uh, slash vas and we attack 8.apk okay 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 i forgot to write, write my sudo sudo okay sudo mv attack dot apk slash var okay i meant to put a max because that was my final so a max dot apk if you can look that up there it's max dot apk a max dot apk yeah i've created my final now to send it to now send now to write cd and our command line okay so it's a fly slash file these are the steps you need to follow right now so if you are with a paper pen you got to jot it down so okay, slash html okay okay done it's done okay now to host it i have to host it to the server with my ip address so make sure you are connected to, a inter to the internet so sudo service apache to start that's what i'm going to write sudo service apache to start that is what I'm going to write. Sudo service Apache to start. Okay. Uh, oh yes, I've hosted. I've hosted. Brilliant. Brilliant. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open another terminal for that. So I'm going to open another terminal, and in the terminal, I'm going to write like um, um MSF console on the terminal. So I'm going to write MSF console on it. Okay. Mm, yeah, MSO console also it helps to um, try uh, help in reversing uh, the playload package. So I just told you uh, you have to take permission. So this device I'm using is my sys iPhone, uh, sys Android phone. I'm not using an, I'm using an iPhone. So so I'm using this how to hack into an Android phone. So I'm going to write the IP address which I just said that I'm going to write the IP address, my Wi-Fi IP address. So I'm going to write my IP address 192. Dot one six um six eight dot um eight dot one four four one four four slash attack a max dot apk okay to download the playload like i told you you need something to communicate with it so i've just let me, i just download the playload on it so like i said you need something to communicate with a device to communicate with that android device anything you want to try any hacky you have to use the play to communicate with the android device so let me just show you i just written down the uh the help uh, like my ip address on it so i've done this thing before so i'll not be typing it i'll just go back to what i've typed on my terminal default so the help ellos is the ip address l port is 444 into four places now let's start interpreting now okay boom i've got in i've gotten into an android phone i've got inside the android phone so right now i'm now in control of the android phone so you can ask me what am i going to do on the android phone look at the options i just type to help to show me options what am i going to do in an android phone since i've hacked into the android phone so what are the options i'm going to do there's one i can record mic webcam stream and other things i can do on the hand on our android phone and also i can even collect a message collect a call log sheet see the history of our text message and everything on our android phone so like i said 
like server security is very broad so let me check the list of the app the list of our app she's using the list of our app so right now i've seen calendar a qualcomm calendar app and also uh, you can see the main activity that small package is the main activity that's going to create by the way so let's go, go back to the app so so i can see netflix i can see opera mini i can see mini app i can see like yeah yeah mini app Open mini news another app used to yeah also yeah so let's go down what we can do next on it we just listed the app that she have on her phone uh, we just see activity start so let us start running an activity on it yeah let just start paste and run the activity on it boom yeah what next we can do what 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 the next thing we can do it's just simple just like walking the park it's just like walking the back oh my god i'm just feeling myself right now but it's just like walking the park so it's like walking the park so let's think what we are going to do next i'm even confused because right now i'm having a brain fart right now i'm having a brain fart right now so uh mm, let's start with our contact let's collect uh check if it's a rooted device first if our phone is a rooted device so let's first check if our phone is a rooted, rooted device. Paste. Yeah, yeah, it's not a rooted device. The phone is not a rooted device. Let's check the more about our phone. So since we are hacking to the phone, an Android phone. So let's check what's inside our phone. Okay, it's an Android 9. Yeah, it's an Android 9. So let's collect a message since we are hacking to the phone. So let's collect the message, the call log, and everything. Every details that's very important. That I told you that this is for educational purposes. Hacking is illegal in some countries, and if you can caught, it's life sentence in prison. So I told you take permission before you try it. So let's collect the contact, her contact, collect her contact. So let's check. Okay. Um, yeah, I just collected her contact right now. Okay, I've saved all her contact people that she have in her contact. Let's collect text message to her phone text message. That's most her phone text message, her call call log or something remember guys take permission this youtube channel will not be responsible for any illegal activities i will not be responsible for any illegal activities if you guys are doing it so take permission so they collect like i said before a text message mm -hmm. yeah it's simple it's simple cyber security is broad if you want to go deep down cyber security this is the broad uh, broad thing you need to do you need something to communicate with something for you to gain access to that thing so you don't stay and just watch those movies and just say click on the button they're fucking to your server so we have gotten important message so let's see if we can do you know what i like from this thing like i can use her phone to send message to anybody and thinking that the person think that oh it's hard to send the message but not knowing that is someone that hacking to the phone and sending people message randomly and i hope she have credit on our local providing line which is a local providing line so right now so it is an option for you to send send sms slash d the phone number t slash t the target and greeting message so i'll just do according to what she said according to what they said on how to send it okay okay oh uh, yeah so i would use my phone number i hope she have um airtime in a local network call uh, uh, provider i hope she have airtime okay this is my phone number please don't disturb me on whatsapp just drop your comment below i'll try my possible best to ask answer you guys questions i'll try my possible best to answer you guys question okay i'll just send myself hello if it didn't don't work know that she don't have any airtime in a local providing network okay but it mostly work so um we're waiting for the message to send okay ah. I hit it like I guess it should, I guess she don't have any airtime on our network provider line. So a local line. So let's go and check what we have. So remember, uh, guys, I uh, collect some information from my phone, a contact, a call log. The last time she made call, so a text message. I've collected a lot of things from my phone. So let's go and check something. Okay. Now let's go. Oh, okay. Well, where did I keep this thing? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is our contact. What? What? This? What she have in her contact? 
this is what she have in her contact so like it's very simple it's, it's easy it's not like walk in the park like very very simple walk in the park walk in the park very simple look 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 i can see many people in our contact like um eric i can see many people in contact like i don't want to be mentioning her name but you can see it on the screen like in our contact so like we can switch to another, another alternative let's go and check what uh she have done like let's go and check what she have done so let's go and check okay um okay so let's check what we can do on uh okay the other information she we retrieve from our phone okay these are text message these are a lot of bunches of text message you can see mostly text message from our network providing company a which is our local line yeah okay a lot of messages okay but i'm seeing some personal message like <laughs> i like this kind of this is personal message this is someone personal is a uh, personal message so i like i told you this is for educational purpose before you try anything please take permission please so like this um this is another text message another text message again okay oh uh, yeah so this is somehow intruding on someone's privacy Please, I, I told you, in most countries, if you are caught, I like find out, is life imprisonment is a, a prison penalty for you, some death penalty. So these are like the last time she made make, made a call. It will start from the begin from the down down side. So before I got to November, uh, sorry October, uh, if she may call from October. So but I will not screw down to May june july august september i will not scroll down because i don't have much time with me though so if you try it with taking permission or you have your own personal android phone you can use it i'm not using an android phone. i'm using an, an ios so you can try it all that and so the section is close uh close so like we can just try something else um yeah try something else so that is it guys like it's very simple like it's not that hard let me just try to open another session again open it okay yeah i've opened it yeah same so guys the easy peasy help that's all you can do like that's all that's all guys i that is all it's just all so so like i told you you got to have you have to create a small load uh, uh like a small package the package is kilobytes or something to communicate with that and so we have to create a small package let me just try session to interact with the device so let me just try putting on this thing to interact with the device or something okay yeah everything's smooth it's running smooth it's good to go like i told you guys part OS, you want to do anything like your you have it your pc is an old pc and the hardware and you definitely your computer hardware will be old so so piece it is part OS is what you need this part OS is what you need and i promise you guys i'm going to drop the link below down i won't show you how to install it but i'll show uh, but i'll just drop a link where you can download parrot os from so you can check other youtube channel to learn how to install parrot uh, linux os so guys i told you guys i will not be posting this kind of security um hacking tips or hacking tutorial on my youtube channel this youtube channel is mostly on unboxing and on smart gadget and other stuff and i'll just post two or three hacking tutorial tips or hacking tips on my youtube channel two or three so it's mostly on unboxing so guys i told you before you want to try this thing please take permission and also also please this channel is not responsible don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as a master click to the doorbell notification for you to get notified to all my new new video drop a comment below and i'll drop my social media platform down below for you to follow me on social media